I'm Dr. Deepa Devakar, who is the CEO of Artist, which expands as Asian Research and Training Institute for Skill Transfer, based out of the Vakar Speciality Hospital, Bengaluru. In the capacity of the national convener of one of the flagship programs of our organization called FOXI, the program is titled Manyata. Manyata is a stamp of quality or a seal of quality, like the ISI mark, on many, many private nursing homes, as on today, in the geographies of UP, Jharkhand, and Maharashtra. We are expanding this program into Karnataka, and it is our dream to train the doctors and the nurses of each and every private nursing home all over the nooks and corners of Karnataka on some simple, important steps that are not negotiable. Every single delivery to every woman, everywhere, they have to do these standard-based protocols to save lives, both of the mother and the baby, to prevent complications, to give them the best of the quality care, because we think whether the woman seeks the care in a public or a private institute, she must be offered the best of the minimal care. So we are to train and coach the teams of doctors and nurses from these hospitals. So who is going to do this training and coaching? Well, the responsibility as the CEO of Artist is to train many leaders in Karnataka who will go and transmit this into their own regions and thereby with a cascading ripple effect this entire movement of Manyata should spread in the entire Karnataka to make it a role model because it makes my mind very sad that out of the southern states Karnataka ranks the last in terms of the statistics of maternal and infant mortality and morbidity and we want to change this scenario for sure. So the leaders who have come here today to train themselves at least assessors for the Manyata Quality Initiative and train themselves as the master trainers who will go and train the other sectors in Karnataka. We have the leaders who have been our organization heads from Hubli, Belgaum, Hassan, Chikmanglur, Shimoga, Mysore and other parts in the first phase. We are going to repeat performance of what we did today with few others who have not attended because we want to flood the entire state with this quality teaching and training program. Another novelty in this program today is the link up with the platform called ECHO which is a dis digital platform as how ECHO means it repeats or reverberates or re-emphasizes so what we do in one-time training can be re-emphasized, recalled, refreshed and retrained in all these centers by connecting on the ECHO platform. It is a license given to Foxy by ECHO on a platform called Zoom and the clarity is exceptional as you would have yourself witnessed today. It connects Delhi, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai in today's program but it can connect up to 1,000 centers or more right across the country. So we are going to impart this training and teaching in initiatives through ECHO because reaching the unreachable in the city of India, sometimes some unexpected things happen. We don't know how the technology takes over the basic requirements. A person may not have a footwear, but he has a mobile phone. The same way, we may not have the roads to go into these nooks and corners, but we have ECHO as the digital platform to reach our women, girls, and the practitioners there. So we are using this fantastic opportunity to escalate our training programs, to scale it up to reach every nook and corner. So that is one major part. Is a woman only a birthing machine? Is just taking care of her during delivery enough? We would certainly say no, but this is a small but significant step. She needs the care prior to pregnancy as well, with obesity, diabetes and other pre-morbid problems, contraception coming into the uh, play during that phase as well. 
Diabetes in pregnancy is yet another tsunami that is striking the women of India. One out of every five pregnant women is having high blood sugars. How to test them, how to take care of them, how to take care of their babies, all these in a teaching and training module. Because for 30 million deliveries in one year, 5 million women with diabetes in pregnancy with only a thousand diabetologists in the entire country. The numbers don't match. So we as gynecologists will have to also take care of the diabetes, though the diabetes is a specialized subject in its own merit. So uh, women with pregnancy, with diabetes, needs the care from ourselves rather than sending her to a diabetologist because thousand diabetologists in India cannot take care of five million women. So the teaching and training program of empowering the gynecologists and obstetricians to take care of diabetes in pregnancy is yet another serious and a strong endeavor because we need to offer a preventive and a consolidated management. The third thing is that it's not really for population control but also spacing of the pregnancies. It is also to expand the contraceptive methodologies to girls and women who are not yet married. The college going girls, the women who are delaying their marriage between the age of 25 to 35 who still need a contraceptive methodology and advice. There are lots and lots of myths and misconceptions. So Parivartan is another new initiative. Hashtag who decides? Who decides whether premarital sex is allowed or not? Who decides whether living in relationships is allowed or not? Who decides whether she needs a contraceptive or not? A woman should decide for herself. The healthcare providers should change their mindset, make it accessible, affordable, and increase the awareness. So all these three are collaged into a movement called Parivartan, where we are addressing and training the doctors to change their mindset. One, they are offering the contraceptive advice to girls and women. On one side, we are training the doctors, but on the other side, we want to reach the consumers. We want to reach the girls in the colleges. We want to reach the women in the corporate sector. Everywhere and anywhere, both the supply and the demand side, we want to strengthen in the initiative called Parivartan. So today's program, what artist is leading, one important initiative is the connectivity by the echo or the digital platform. Another is to address multiple things which a girl and women would need, right from pre-pregnancy care, to contraception, to diabetes in pregnancy, to the process of delivery and the care during the delivery and immediate post-delivery, both for her and for her newborn. So this is, though I can call it a landmark in its own way, I can still say that this is just a small step that we have taken in the long journey. We have miles to go before we sleep and before we conclude that the next generation in India will be far, far healthier, making the country more prosperous and healthy in the true sense because we do believe that women's health is nation's wealth.